Hi friends, in continuation of the previous video, load test on transformer, now we will discuss about how to calculate the efficiency by taking practical readings. Here, I am going to consider a practical reading, I have just taken from my particular experiment, for want of time, I am just cut shorting it and today we will discuss about the transformer efficiency and regulation. So, you know efficiency, the formula for efficiency is output power by input power, okay. The percentage of efficiency, this is symbol for efficiency and when I say regulation, regulation means change in the load, change in the load terminal. When I say regulation, change in the load terminal when input is kept constant and that is, the, it is a study when there is a change in the load terminal when input is kept constant. Yeah, when I say efficiency, efficiency could output power input power into 100 percent. If you want to calculate it in 100, therefore 100 percentage. The formula for finding the efficiency is secondary voltage into secondary current into the secondary power factor and divided by primary voltage into primary current into primary power factor. It means P is equal to V into I into cos theta, P is equal to V into I into cos theta in the primary side as well as secondary side. It means output by input. Otherwise, we can take directly by the wattmeter readings. W2 is the wattmeter contained in the secondary, that means output side, and W1 is the wattmeter contained in the input side. So if we know the wattmeter reading directly, then we can find the efficiency of the transformer. For my uh, easiness, just I had assumed, it is not assumed, the reading taken from the previous experiment. Here I have taken one set of reading. For example, the primary reading, that the primary current is equal to 2 amperes. The primary current is equal to 2 amperes. The primary voltage is equal to 216 volt. And the primary power is equal to 482 in the watt meter. But you can may ask me a question that the product of power, the product of current into voltage, that is 216 into 2 is equal to 453. Why there is a change? See, the actual reading of the water meter is 482, but the reading fr from the ammeter and voltmeter is giving 453. Why there is a change in 29 watts? This change indicates the losses. When I say that in the input side, this amount of power is consumed for constant losses or I can say this is the ion losses. Similarly, in the secondary side, 4.3 amperes of current is consumed at the load and uh, voltage is equal to 108 volt at the same uh, at the same time. Therefore, the power calculated is 108 into 4.3, uh, it is 464.4 watts. Since it is a resistive load, the power factor is unity, therefore power is equal to V into I only because the cos theta is equal to 1. Therefore, the efficiency is taken now and calculated as this is the output side and this is the input side, therefore output by input. Output by input when I say it is 464.4 as output divided by the input is 482. 482. So, therefore, the efficiency of this transformer is approximately now 96 percentage. It is approximately now 96 percentage. However, in any transformer, the output percentage of efficiency should be not less than 90 percentage or 95 percentage. If a transformer is giving an efficiency of 95 percentage and more, 95 percentage and more. It means the percentage should be greater, greater than, the percentage should be greater than 95 percentage, means that transformer is a good transformer. Normally, transformer efficiency will be in from 90 to 95 and up to 99, but not 100 percentage, but not 100 percentage. So, this is why the reason is it is giving 90 percentage, means the losses in the transformer is normally less when compared to the dynamic machines. For example, motor. Motor is dynamic. It is having other losses which is not in the transformer. Which is not in the transformer. In motor, we have some windage losses too. But in transformer, those windage losses and frictional losses are not present. Therefore, transformer will always provide higher efficiency when compared to the dynamic, dynamic machines because this machine is a static machine. Normally, I said the transformer will provide higher efficiency. When a transformer will deliver, deliver a higher efficiency means the losses. When I say losses, this can be given by losses. When I say losses, variable losses that is I square R losses is equal to constant losses. Constant losses. So, constant loss is called ion loss. This is called ion loss. So, I can say easily. When ion loss is equal to copper loss. The I square loss is called copper loss or variable loss or variable loss. So, simply to conclude, 
copper losses is equal to iron losses means at that condition a transformer will deliver the maximum efficiency this is the condition in most of the interviews this question is asked why at what condition a transformer will deliver maximum efficiency simple thing copper loss is equal to iron loss or i square or loss is equal to constant loss this constant loss at no load conditions this is at no load conditions and i told you that why transformer is rated in kva so why transformer is rated in kva means v stands for voltage and a stands for i mean uh, i mean current kva that is this iron loss is constituted by constant this voltage is the main main i mean this is the main parameter which contributes for constant load or iron losses and this ammeter i square r this ammeter is the main parameter for introducing this i square loss therefore in transformer i square r loss is by ampere is taken and the constant losses is by voltage of the transformer therefore the losses in the transformer is decided by two components one voltage and ampere therefore it is rated in kva this is one way of answering on the other side colloquially speaking a transformer at the manufacturer end the transformer at the manufacturer end doesn't know that what type of load it is going to supply so any transformer at the manufacturing side doesn't know the information of the load doesn't know the information of the load load information is not known therefore the power of a transformer is v into i into cos theta means this cos theta is not known at the manufacturer side this cos theta may be unity may be lagging or may be leading therefore depending upon the load connected in the transformer this cos theta will take the value so it has no information at the manufacturer side therefore it is rated in v and i that is k b a this is the next way of answering for the same question i hope i answered for the question which i asked k b a transformer is why transformer is rated in k b a i hope you understand for further clarifications please comment in my youtube channel until that bye bye from suresh thank you for your patience give me more support and and bye bye